What's up, guys? It's um, Shots of Victory. I'm Rocky. I'm Blake. Today we'll be talking about Raw, NXT, SmackDown, Clash of the Castle results, and then our predictions for Money in the Bank. Yep, so starting off, we have First, Raw. We had Raw. Started with a segment with Drew McIntyre and the Judgment Day, mm-hmm. which per usual is good. Yeah. And then um, they agreed on a match for at the end of the show where it was Drew McIntyre versus Finn Balor, and if Drew win, then Drew... Um, then, no, Judgment Day were barred from ringside. Which, Drew ended up getting the win, so... Mm-hmm. But, during that, Finn, Don had a backstage segment with Liv, mm-hmm. where Liv gave him a key card to her room. Yeah, her hotel room. Which then, there was more promos throughout the night mm-hmm. with the key card. F- first, they were putting it away, Dom telling them about it. Mm-hmm. Carlito, being Carlito, was saying it was cool. That's cool. Then, eventually, at, towards the end of the night, mm-hmm. before Finn's match, yeah, they were all talking about how the key card was bad and they need to get rid of it. And at the very end, they were all like doing a fist bump up the air. Everyone wasn't paying attention. Finn smoothly, sneakily <laughs> took the key card. Yeah. So. We gotta see where that goes. Yep. I've um, been saying for a while that because when Judgment Day was first starting out, it was they were feuding with AJ, I think, it Liv was, and Finn. Yeah. And then. Yeah, it was AJ, Finn, and Liv versus um, Edge, Damian, and Rhea. Yeah. So I've been saying that Finn and Liv have been doing an inside job this whole time. Finn's been doing his stuff. Mm-hmm. So maybe Finn wins Money in the Bank and catches on Damian. Maybe. Just maybe, but yeah. Next we have EO Sky beats Lyra Valkyria. After that, Caden Carter wait, yeah, Ken Carter and Katana Chance fend off damage control, beat down. Which I mean just more damage control and Lyra yeah. stuff. Then whoop, afterwards whoop. oh, continue. Um, I I was just talking about how bad that rivalry is. Yeah. And then Io was like talking about how things have to change in damage control, and yeah, it's just. Do you think that she'll kick anybody out? I mean, um, I think she just might just get rid of it. Like break up the entire faction. Well, yeah, because if Io leaves, then there's really just. There's Dakota, um, Asuka, and Kyrie. Asuka's injured right now. Um, yeah. Kabuki Warriors just gonna be Kabuki Warriors, but then just. Mm-hmm. But I don't feel like Dakota would do much then. Like, Dakota could just be a manager. She's a good manager. She's like the mouthpiece of damage control right now. Yeah, it's because. Yeah. Then after that, we had Dragon Lee pinning Carlito in a six way tag match. A lot happened. I think. Um, did Braun end up coming out or no? Braun was in the six way. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, it was Braun, um, it was Braun, Ray, and Car- no, Braun, Ray, and Dragon, Dragon Lee. Versus Carlito. Finn and JD. No. Dom and Don- JD. Yeah, Dom and JD. And then Liv came out, mm-hmm. got, did some stuff with Dom, got on top of Dom. And then Zelina Vega attacked um, Liv during that. Yep, so that probably will be the match for Money in the Bank. Yep. And then after that, we had Sami Zayn beats Otis. Mm-hmm. After distraction by Chad Gable, mm-hmm. just getting closer and closer to that face turn by Otis. Yeah. Hopefully it pays off. We'll, we'll see it like next week or maybe th- um, this week even. Hopefully it's soon. Yeah. After what happened to Money in the Bank, hopefully it's at Raw. You mean Clash? Yeah, Clash. Hopefully we get it sooner rather than later because I don't know what else it's going to do with them. Mm-hmm. Then we had Shayna makes Alba Fire fall asleep in the... <laughs> through the clutch which we just had was it a tag match oh um, yeah it was a tag yeah. match which and I think uh I think Bianca she, and Jade were ringside for yeah that. they were ringside were they on commentary no I think they were just there yeah but Shayna is just doing what Shayna does getting pushed for no reason mm-hmm. then we had Braun beats Ilya in a match Ricochet comes out. Then, after that, there was a segment with Ricochet helping Ilya off. Braun spears Ilya. Ilya then just the sh- mur- Yeah. And then Braun just murders Ricochet and just sends him out of the company. Yep, Ricochet's gone forever. 
which that was towards the end of the mat, end of the day. Yeah, it was um, it was after the tag team match, which is next. Yeah, but we'll get into that in a second. Mm-hmm. Awesome Truth retains their titles against AOP because of a distraction by the New Day. Mm-hmm. So, just mm-hmm. getting closer to that turn, maybe for yeah, Xavier probably. Yeah, it, yeah. Then, then after that, it was the promo like backstage thing with Ricochet getting attacked by Braun. Mm-hmm. Just. There was a car spot just getting thrown everywhere. And then into the trailer where his head looked like he broke his neck yeah, or something. Yeah, it was bad. But then after that, Samantha... Left with him in the ambulance yep. to the so, local medical facility. Mm-hmm. But then we had Pat McAfee do the intros. Yeah, which were pretty good, honestly. I called Drew like a big Scottish bastard, I think. <laughs> which was Perhaps. Good. Yeah. But that was a match with Finn... Drew wins. Judgment Day, not allowed at ringside of Clash. Yeah. Didn't um Pat say that Finn had, like, zero body fat? Yeah. Then just, I don't know what his beef is with Finn. <laughs> yeah. Well, he just doesn't like Judgment Day. Yeah. Then, he doesn't like Dom. Yeah. Like no, Michael Cole is the one that doesn't like Dom. I don't think Pat does either. True. Is Michael Cole, the, no, is Pat a heel or a face? He's a Pat is just Pat. True. <laughs> because we got like two heels on SmackDown and then just two faces on Raw for commentary. Do they even really have faces and heels though in commentary? Yeah, don't you remember Michael Cole versus Jerry Lawler at WrestleMania? Michael Cole being the heel during the G- secret GM stuff. <laughs> the hornswoggle, the goat. Anyways, next we had T- NXT. Um, where Kalani Jordan celebrated her NXT Women's North American Championship victory, where Jada Parker then came out and was talking about how she should have won it, and then um, Meechan attacks um, Jada Parker, and then that led into a match like right after it, where Meechan picked up the W against um, Jada Parker with the help of the OC. Which, I thought with them all going out of NXT, the OC would break apart with them. Mm-hmm. Especially with them going out during AJ stuff. So, I mean, I don't know if the OC is still, like, together mm-hmm. or if what's happening with that. Yeah. Then next was um, Gallus versus New Catch Republic and Wesley, where Gallus picked up the W in a, I'd say, a pretty good match. It was a good match, but New Catch Republic, so it wasn't good. Yeah, Wesley had some pretty good spots during that match. Of course, he's Wesley. Of course, he's going to have good spots. Yep, then Wendy Chu returned in a match against Brinley Reese where, I guess, Wendy Chu ha- has a nightmare possessing her. And Wendy Chu easily got the W in that match. Which, I like Wendy. It, she looked good. Mm-hmm. I think she had just, like, face paint, which was different. That's it, really. Yeah, it was, like, purple face paint. Yeah. So, I mean, just got to use it right. It'll be fun. But, yeah. What would she do, though? Because... Roxanne Perez is a heel, so it's not going to do heel versus heel. Mm-hmm. I mean, Kalani Jordan, maybe? Maybe. Like, after she's done with her feud with Meechin. Unless Meechin wins. True. Meechin versus Wendy Chu. <laughs> no. <laughs> and it was Trick William. No, Cody Rhodes comes out and has his promo. Trick Williams comes out midway through it. They talk about um stuff... Trick asks Cody if he wants to come out to the cookout. Then Cody announces um, that there will be a battle royal for the number one contender ch- for um, Trick's title at, at this heat week's wave. NXT. Oh, wait, yeah, for the Heat Wave. Yeah, and then the match will happen at Heat Wave. He also was saying how there's going to be people from different locker rooms, so more TNA involvement. You know who we got. Joe Hendry. Matt Hardy. And then a new... Returning Jeff Hardy from TNA could come out. Jeff Hardy could come out. Do you think he will? Probably not. Yeah. While we're on the, for TNA, Jordan Grace had her open challenge where Tatum Paxley came out. So. Mhm. And Jordan Grace defeated her, correct? Obviously. Yeah. But just continuing that partnership. Mhm. So maybe we can get some. Joe Hendry. That's Joe Hendry will probably come out. You gotta just say his name and he'll appear. Maybe Jeff, maybe Matt, maybe Moose. Moose versus Trick. Guess we'll see. Yeah. 
Then it, next was um, Lexus King versus Dante Chen in a Singapore and Kane match, where Lexus King used um, his scepter while doing the coronation to get the W. Just, I don't, I just don't understand the match. It was just weird. But it was basically it was, just like a kendo stick match. Yeah, it was good though, but it was just weird. Yeah, I've never seen like a kendo stick match before. I see their extreme rules or like something else. Well, yeah, why would there just be a kendo stick match? True. Um, then next was Eddie Thorpe versus Tavion Heights, I think. Um, then Eddie, Dor- um, Eddie Thorpe just got the ECW. And then um, after that match, Charlie Dempsey wanted um, Damon Kemp to go find Tavion Heights to go record him, but Damon Kemp was skeptical. And then Charlie was like, gets mad at him because he lost to Tony D'Angelo twice in a row or something like that. And then um, he tells Miles Bourne to go find him instead. Yeah. Also, I think throughout the night, we had different promos from other people. I think Cody had some stuff. Oh, yeah, he had a one with J.C. Jane where he gave her the mask. And they said it was dashing, so mm-hmm. just passing the torch down to J.C. Jane. Yeah, and then it was um, also Cody Rhodes, Lexus, Lexus King, um, Sean Shem Spears, Spears, and um, the, Ethan Page. Yeah, all you, Ethan Page. Saying, just talking about how they're all from AEW, kind of. Well, so. they're all from different companies. Yeah. Because I think Sean Spears is from TNA. Well, no, he was in AEW. He was? Yeah. Oh, they were all coming from AEW, that's what they doing, yeah. Yeah. And, and then Cody was like, you're all in a good place. Mm-hmm. And also, another problem, I think, wasn't there a Ridge, Chase U? Yeah, and, it was Ridge and Chase U, and they dropped the F-bomb during it. Yeah, Thea Hale just went off. Thea Hale had a good, was good, that one. She was mm-hmm. just telling them how everyone made mistakes, they were, couldn't trust them. Mm-hmm. But Chase U made they trust them, so. Yeah. And then the, in the, um, then we had Sean Spears versus Javon Evans, where Sean Spears got the W after he hit the, his finisher, the C four. Where, Mister Bouncy did not get the dub, sadly. I I don't know what the plans for him are. I mean, he was in a. T- I kind of was hoping him and Trick would become a tag team or like have a faction, but mm-hmm. I think they're done with that. So. Yeah. Which they're doing, like, nothing with the tag team championships, except, like, a kind of a feud with the family, I guess, but the family... I mean, a feud just ended with it, so, I mean, it's kind of fine. Yeah. Then, in the main event, we had a, um, Roxanne calling out Ava, where then a bunch of women, Lola Vice, um, JC Jane, Jasmine Nix, um, Lash Legend, and Jakara Jackson all come out, and then, um... Lola Vice and Roxanne stood tall at the end. I mean, that's just... I think it's leading up to a tag team match against all of them. <clears throat> but I'm kind of thinking that it also could just turn to Lola versus Roxanne. Mm-hmm. Which, if that ends up happening, that's when I'll probably have Roxanne lose the belt. Yeah. I mean, they don't have any tag team match announced for NXT yet. Yeah, so... But it's probably going to happen. Just... If not, I'd see it going into a Lola versus Roxanne. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess you could have it no matter what, but we'll see, I guess. Yeah. And then next we had SmackDown, mm-hmm. which was in Scotland, so... Crowd was pretty good, honestly. First we had Naomi gets the win over Chelsea Green with the help of Bailey. I mean, just kind of building that like feud story between Piper and Bailey. So... Mm-hmm. Then we had Grayson Waller effect with Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano. This was my favorite part of the show, honestly. Kai was just talking about how Austin needs to see what's happening and leave. Mm-hmm. But Austin just takes all the blows for Grayson as yeah. um, he took the first blow from Johnny, didn't he? Mm-hmm. And then Tommaso came with a knee and Grayson just rolled out, so Austin just took it. Yeah, so we'll just see when he ends up turning. Hopefully it's soon. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, I don't know. But I just don't know when the match would happen because I don't see that happening like at Money in the Bank. Mm-hmm. Almost, it might not even be a PLE feud, but... Yeah. Hopefully it is. Next, we had Santos beats Apollo, even though Baron Corbin came out and tried to help Apollo. Mm-hmm. So just battle the mid-card right there. Yeah, because um, 
Baron came out and fended off Angel Garza and Humberto Carrillo. So we're going to get a triple threat with our GOAT speed champion Andrade, Apollo, and then Baron versus the Legandas Montaza. Maybe. I mean, I guess it'd be an okay match. Mm-hmm. Next, we had a Cody and AJ promo where AJ talks about how Cody quit everything and that he was a part of. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, like he told, he said that he quit WWE, he quit New Japan Pro Wrestling, he quit TNA, he quit AEW. Well, he didn't say he quit AEW, but he said that he started a company and he just left it in the dust. Yeah, I mean. You can't just name drop at AEW right now. I mean, I don't know, it's just, we'll see where that goes. Mm-hmm. Hopefully the I quit match goes, was good. It yeah. was, so we'll get to talk about that in a second, though. Yeah. Then we had Nia Jax just squashing Meechin. It was such a quick match. I literally looked away for a second, and when I looked back, it was over. I didn't even get to see the match. I'm guessing they're just going to like have Nia just win every single match until SummerSlam, to where she comes champ. Mm-hmm. And then, what was next? It was... LA Knight. Then there was a promo with Logan Paul, talking about how he's going to be there next Friday, I think. I think so. Yeah. Then goes someone says, oh, your boy from L.A. is here in the pool. Then Logan goes to his pool. L.A. Knight was just chilling in there. Yeah, and then... Doesn't um, really do much, though. Kind of just walks out. Yeah, he had his clothes on the ice, on the U.S. title. Yeah. So, I know I've been saying this for a while. Hope that match doesn't happen yet. Yeah, if it does, they should do a triple threat at Money in the Bank. Yeah, but... I just don't know. Yeah. After, I wanted Melo, LA Knight, and then uh, Logan, both Car- Carmelo Hayes, mm-hmm. saying he's going to be in the qualifying match. I don't think they're going to, they're not going to have him lose, so I don't think he's going to be in a triple threat. Yeah. So, but I just don't want that match to happen yet, because I feel like if it does, it just loses all of its hype. Yeah, because they'll just do the same thing, but... Um, LA Knight's winning this time, and then, oh no, yeah. Logan just doesn't have a title, oh no. Then we had Sol Sokoa beating Kevin Owens with the help of Paul Heyman. Randy Orton returns to fend off Tama Tonga, Solo, and Tongaloa, so, mm-hmm. just doing more for that. Yeah, and, which is pretty good, they've been doing this feud since, like, what, Backlash? Yeah, probably before. I mean, it just, was like right after WrestleMania. I mean, KO has been feuding with the Bloodline for how many years now? Um, twenty twenty one Royal Rumble. Yeah, so I mean, it's been a while. Yeah, there's rumors of a new Bloodline member coming from New Japan, I think. Um, yeah, Jacob Fatu. No, some other guy. Oh, Zillow. Yeah. Perhaps. So we're just gonna get more people. Mm-hmm. But if we do that, because I'm guessing this is a Survivor Series match, so yeah. What would it be? They're gonna just drag it out like it was Judgment Day versus Seth Cody. Yeah. But, I mean, the thing with this, though, yes, it's dragging it out, but it's still good. Because mm-hmm. we have four people that need a debut or re-debut. Yeah. With Roman, Jimmy, Jacob, and then the new guy. So, mm-hmm. it should be good. Yeah. But what would the teams be for Survivor Series? Just Solo, Tonga, Tote. Tonga Loa, Tama Tonga, and then Jacob Zilla. Yeah, and then it'd be Cody, Randy, KO, and then maybe Jimmy and Roman. Jimmy yeah. J Lo- Roman, which is both all of them's kind of weird, but I don't know. I didn't say J. Well, no, but J would be in it. Cause... True. So it could be um, Cody, KO, Randy, Jimmy J. Well, I have. So I'm guessing it's going to be face versus heel, Bloodline. Mm-hmm. So Sammy, obviously, because he's face, and yeah. he's stay face. But I have Randy turning heel as... Summer, uh, Money in the Bank. Yeah. Or just somewhere between Money in the Bank and SummerSlam, because yeah. that's a big match, and that's the match we need, kind of. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, what does it need to be, five on five? Um, or? It's five on five or four on four. Yeah. They but, had a four and four and a five on five this year. Yeah. So, I mean, we'll just see how that goes. Mm-hmm. And then wanna get into Clash? Yeah, we can get into Clash. Um so Clash of the Castle. Um the first match was Cody Rhodes versus AJ Styles in an I quit match. 
This is like one of the best. Was it? I would probably say it's the best match of the night. Honestly, last year was the best match. The crowd, the crowd, crowd was good. <laughs> chanting Cody Rhodes the whole time. Mm-hmm. Great, like moves. Great, just Mama mm-hmm. Rhodes got involved, and then AJ took a great spot mm-hmm. after handcuffing Cody. Cody got out of that. He had then AJ got chains around his arm. Mm-hmm. Was gonna hit a phenomenal forearm. <clears throat> but Cody hit him in the head with a chair. Yeah. He fell off the ropes onto a table, which was just great. It was a good spot, honestly. Yeah. Then um, after that, it was Cody got the handcuff key, then unlocked himself. Then it was... Um, he handcuffed AJ to the... Ropes. Yeah, and then he won by grabbing the steel steps and mm-hmm. going to throw them at him. But AJ quits, but Cody just throw, looks at Mama Rhodes. She gives him the thumbs up. Then Cody just obliterates AJ with some. Yeah. Then we saw some backstage footage of AJ just getting carried to the back with, with um, by some referees. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get into this now because AJ was complaining about it. The ropes were really loose. Mm-hmm. And caused could, a lot of botches. Yeah. Um, also... AJ's probably going to be gone from the WWE now and go to TNA. I don't say yet. I think he might... It's going to be a couple weeks be- yeah. because of that um, steel step spot. Yeah. But it begins with back to the ropes. They were just really loose. Caused a lot of botches. Mm-hmm. But then also did some good things. So yeah, we'll get into that later. And then um, the second match was Unholy Union versus... Um, Shayna and Zoe versus Bianca and Jade for the women's tag team championships, where Unholy Union picked up the W after they they um Alba held um Bianca out of the, Bianca and Jade out of the ring while um what was it Isla pinned Shayna yeah during that match Jade had a botch but she played it off good everyone mm-hmm. played it off good so it was fine. I didn't at first when like match got announced. I didn't think Unholy Union was gonna win, mm-hmm. but I af- did. Yeah, but after like we heard that like was it Alba Fire Mo- Alba's mom died? Yeah. Or was it? I think it might have been. Yeah. After whoever's mom died, mm-hmm. and then just with it being in Scotland, I kind of just thought they were gonna win. Yeah. I didn't want them to win because I wanted Bianca and like. Jade to hold still, but I honestly wanted him to dethrone him because no way they were gonna have Scotland um, leave without any champs because they had three Scots in championship matches. They couldn't just have all of them lose. Just because uh, what are they supposed to do with Jade and Bianca as a tag team now? There's not really much. Yeah. Because it's just because I'm guessing one of those two were gonna win Money in the Bank. So yeah, maybe. And then next match was Sami Zayn versus Chad Gable, where Sami Zayn won because of some Alpha Academy interference, as um, Chad got upset with Otis carrying Maxine off because her leg was hurt, and this distracted Chad long enough so Sami could hit the Huluva kick and pick up the W, as Chad just looked super mad in the ring, honestly. The matches was good because it was... Chad and Sammy, so the match is mm-hmm. honestly going to be good. But just, it's been the same, like, ending for how many, like, shows now? It's basically been, like, two or three. Because I think the triple threat in Saudi, that had the same Yeah, ending. because um, Otis accidentally hit Chad. Yeah, but it's just, I'm fine with it. Just get the turn soon, because this is just... Mm-hmm. And then, if we're keeping Chad in this IC picture, I'm done. It's like it's been how long now? It's been almost a year. He has five IC title losses yeah. since Gunther, at least. And then after the match, which I think it might be done, because after the match, Sammy was talking like went like this. He said Sam- no more matches. Yeah. yeah. So we'll see. Hopefully, it's that's true. But mm-hmm. also, it's kind of. Oh yeah, we forgot to mention in the Cody match, um, Solo Sokoa came out after the match. Oh yeah. So then, it, um, then Tama and Tongaloa attacked um, Cody, and then Randy and Co- uh, Kevin come out and fend him off. So we'll get into our Money in the Bank predictions later, but that will be a part of it. Yeah. And then we had Bailey versus Piper Niven um, in the match before the main event. 
It wasn't anything real special, but Bailey picked up the W with Chelsea in her deadbeat dad, Rey Mysterio's mask, coming out after she got ejected. That was my main problem with the match, is that Piper's good because she has Chelsea. Yeah. Getting rid of Chelsea kind of, like, tore the momentum down. Mm -hmm. But, in my opinion, the match picked back up after she got brought back. Mm Mm-hmm. Because Piper was just doing some good stuff. Yeah. So, I'm happy to see her get her shine. Hopefully it continues like this. Hopefully they don't just, like, bury her, bring her back to Dewdrop. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. Please do not. So, I mean, it was an all right match, so. Yeah. And then we had the main event, Damien Priest versus Drew McIntyre, where Damien Priest was basically finished after that final Claymore, but the ref was knocked out, and um, we see a ref run down to the ring. One... Two, we see the face, it's CM Punk. And then um, Drew McIntyre goes to and chokes CM Punk out, but CM Punk kicks him in the groin, low blow. And um, this allows Damien Priest to hit his finisher. Real Ref climbs in. One, two, three. Damien retains his title. Which, that part was predictable. Everyone knew that was going to happen, but it was still good. Mm-hmm. Still did it in a good way. Another po- the thing with the match though was Priest was gonna hit like some spot over the ropes, his yeah. leg got caught and he was just dangling there for a while. Mm-hmm. Played off good. I don't know if he was actually injured. Was just selling it, but yeah, he sold it really good. If yeah. he if he isn't injured, I mean, still he was like doing moves even on one leg. I think he hit a South of Heaven on one leg. I think he did. Yeah. If you had, like, thoughts of that Priest was not a good champ, should not be holding it, and that he's bad, after watching that, I don't know how you can keep that. He was selling good mm-hmm. on an injured leg, still doing everything he did. And then, what did, there was, like, a good spot, and I think, like, there's something from the top rope, which then Drew gets hurt, and then hits him with a Claymore still. Was it, like, a South of Heaven? Um, I don't remember. Mm, doesn't matter. Oh, it was a Razor's Edge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's up, guys? Uh, it was a tech issue again, so we're back. Anyways, we were talking about our predictions for Money in the Bank. Mm-hmm. First, we'll start off with the ladder match. You can go with your predictions first. Um. So I have Jey Uso, uh, Carmelo Hayes, Ludwig Kaiser, LA Knight, um, Chad Gable, and Andrade. And then... For your are, men's. Do my men's? Okay, I have Jey Uso... Bobby, mm-hmm. Dom, Carmelo, Chad, and then Andrade. Okay. And then um, for my women's, I have Ke- I have Keanu James, Tiffany Stratton, Dakota Kai, Chelsea Green, Ivy Nile, and Blair Davenport. For my women's, I have Eosky, Blair, Lyra, Jade, Shayna, and Tiffy. And then for my winners, I have Jay Uso, and I have Chelsea Green. I have Jay as well. And then I have actually Jade Cargo winning. You have Jade winning? Yep. I have Bianca dethroning uh, Naya? Naya at some point, maybe at Mania. And then Jade cashes in after that. Maybe. Um, then we have the uh, other matches. Um, How many matches do you think we're gonna, we could put on it? Five or six? So I'd say six. Okay, because I think it's usually five. So Obviously, there's going to be a IC title picture match. Who do you think that will be between? I mean, I, we can't so Obviously, tell. Sammy. The feud just ended with Chad, so hopefully yeah. not Chad again. Hopefully not Chad again. Um, Who's in the mid-card? It's like Ilya, Braun Breaker, like, I don't know. Who else is there? Just other Braun, Strowman. Yeah, Braun Strowman. I mean, you could technically put the other members of Judgment Day in the mid-card. Yeah, it just depends. Maybe Finn. Who yeah. Knows? Um, then we'll probably have Zelina versus Liv, as we talked about. Yeah, so that would be for the Women's World Championship. And then, as we talked about earlier, the six-man tag between... Um, Randy, um, Cody, and Kevin versus Solo, Tama Tonga, and Tonga Loa. Yep, so we'll probably have that. Maybe one of them debut... Maybe Zilla, is that what his name is? Zilla. Debuts. Yeah. Or, no, it's Zilla, yeah. Yeah, maybe he debuts. Mm-hmm. I think they have his name trademarked already, so... Yeah, and Jacob can't debut at Money in the Bank, I don't think. Yeah. He'll probably debut at SummerSlam. Yeah. So I think that's when Roman comes back. Mm-hmm. 
And then so that's like four matches. Yeah. And, and since we're getting the tag match, I'm guessing this is going to lead into Solo versus um, Cody at Rumble. Uh, what's it? SummerSlam. Yeah, SummerSlam. I was thinking Cody versus Randy. Cody versus Randy could be our Rumble match. Could be. I think I'd have that. Or Survivor the... Series. No, because I think Survivor Series is going to be bloodline heavy. True. Um, then we have... What else do we have? You could have... Oh, a... Damian Priest versus who? I I'm, I'm thinking Braun Strowman, probably. Again, it's just hard to tell because... The feud with Drew just ended. Yeah. I mean, it could be Braun, because him and Braun have had, like, run-ins mm-hmm. in the past with the rest of JD, so maybe. Yeah. Um. Then what? Logan? Oh, yeah, we had... We had... Logan versus LA Knight, I guess. If Melo loses his qualifier. qualifying match, I could see it happening. If mm-hmm. not, I don't want the match to happen. Yeah. It could just be... Well, I have LA Knight in my um, ladder match, so... Well, I have, we both have Melo in ours. Yeah. So. I mean, it just really depends. Mm-hmm. Maybe we get a Damien something howdy related, but probably Maybe. not. Maybe. And then, um, yeah. So I think that's how many is that? That's five. Yeah. No, yeah, that's five. Um, we could see, no, we won't see Bailey versus Chelsea. We probably might, we might get a Bailey match. Maybe, but who'd she face, Piper again? No, she's not, who will, I mean, who's heels on, maybe? Heels on SmackDown, Blair. I want Blair to come Tiffy. back. Blair hasn't really done anything. That's and then there's a lot of people that could be that just haven't done anything. Like Shinsuke, he could mm-hmm. be in it. He hasn't done anything. Blair hasn't. Mm-hmm. It really depends. So now we're gonna try a new thing. We're gonna do some games. So mm-hmm. I have some quizzes on my phone. I'm gonna talk, to, ask Rocky about it. Yeah. So our first one is, how well do you know these WWE superstars and their random tag team partners? Okay. So first we have. Apart from Shawn Michaels, with whom did Triple H win his tag team titles with? John Cena, Batista, Ric Flair, Stone Cold. I don't know why, but I'm getting the weird feeling of Ric Flair. Was it Ric Flair? It. Ooh, let me check quick. It was not Ric Flair. I'll give you one more guess. Um. Who was it? John Cena, Batista, Ric Flair, and Stone Cold. I feel like it was Stone Cold. It was Stone Cold. Stone Cold, okay. Which, Ric Flair and Triple H is a tag team just... I mean, evolution. Yeah, it just still. I can't look at Ric Flair the same after seeing him in AEW. It's just <laughs> I thought he good. was your goat. Oh, I just... Oh, this... Okay. He is not my goat. What are you talking <laughs> about? You said that in the last episode. Ric Flair? Yeah. Oh, Next, we have Rock teamed up with Mankind for the first time after getting the help against Undertaker and who? Undertaker and who? Yeah. Who are the options? Kane, Big Show, Chris Jericho, and Test. I feel like I have a weird feeling that Undertaker and Test teamed up at one point. It was not. One more guess. Um. So you said Kane, Big Show, Jericho, and Test? Yep. Was it Jericho? It was... Yeah. Okay. Next was, how old was Nicholas when he won the tag titles with Braun Strowman? Answers 7, 12, 10, and 15. 12. Nope. What? He was 10. Oh my goodness. Which longtime member of the NWO won the tag team title against Edge? Alongside Edge. Scott Hall, Conan, Sinks, or Hulk Hogan? Conan? It was Hulk Hogan. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you are. <laughs> so bad at this. Which Hall of Famer won the t- WWE Tag Team title with Becky Lynch? Lita, Nikki Bella. Oh, Trish- Lita. Okay. <laughs> yep, you were right. <laughs> I knew it. Name this mysterious superstar who teamed up with Roman Reigns in 2019. R-Truth, Ricochet, Cedric Alexander, or Titus O'Neil? Was it Ricochet? It was Cedric Alexander. 
What? Randy Orton has held the tag team titles with Matt Riddle, Edge, Bray Wyatt, and answers are Triple H, Luke Harper, Batista, or John Cena. John Cena. Nope. Luke Harper. Oh, yeah, 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 because he was in the Wyatt family. That's still so weird. <laughs> Who did Undertaker feud with the year after he teamed up with Roman Reigns? Triple H, AJ Styles, John Cena, or Shane McMahon? The year after? Yeah. Shane McMahon, wasn't it? It was AJ Styles, because that was the... Oh, the yeah, yeah, the... yeah, yeah, Boneyard. Lastly, who was Daniel Bryan feuding with before forming Team Hell No with Kane? CM Punk, The Shield, Sheamus, or Bray Wyatt? Bray Wyatt. CM Punk. What? He was? Yep. You did not do well <laughs> on that one. Oh my gosh. Okay. Next, we have a WWE Top 50 Superstars of All Time. So you give me names, I'll put it down. Tell them if you're right or wrong. Okay. Who you want to go start off with? HPK. Heartbreak Kid. Shawn Michaels. Yep. Um, Let's go Triple H. Well, it needs to load real quick. It's not letting me put it. <laughs> um, am I spelling his name wrong? How do you spell Shawn Michaels? S-H-W-N-M-I-C-H-A-E-L-S. Is it just... Okay. We'll say he's part of it because he's obviously part of it. <laughs> You can't spell today? <laughs> no, it's way too late to spell. Okay, I just put HPK. He is number one. Okay. Triple H. I just put HHH, you think? Probably. Because it accepted. Yep. Um, that was 12th. Um, John Cena. He um, is 16th. Stone Cold, obviously. Third. Um, Kurt Angle. I don't know if Kurt, maybe. I mean, we'll see. Oh my gosh. K U R T. I don't have that. I just kept putting it. He is. Oh, I can't even see him. That's He is 34th. Oh, gee. Um, Randy Orton. Nope, can't just put Randy. He is. Oof, 29. 29? Are you. Um, Ric Flair. If he is top ten in this, he the Nature Boy Ric Flair is tied for seventeenth. Um, let's see. Um, Hulk Hogan. And I was wondering where you gonna put hit say him. He is twenty third. Edge. I don't. Oh, nineteenth. Jeez. Above Hulk Hogan, Randy, <laughs> and Kurt Angle. I don't know about that. He missed half his career. Um. Dude. Undertaker, obviously. That's what Taker you think? Maybe. Nope. That's been under. Under? <laughs> well, second. Undertaker is second. Okay. I don't know about this list. The Rock. Fifth. Roman on there? Oh, no. That's making me spell Reigns. <laughs> R-E-I-G. I, I it is. It's not letting me put it. Okay. Also spelling. Um, shoot. Batista. I'm also trying to put, okay. <laughs> Batista. He is, oh, how far? He is 49th. Jeez. Oh my gosh. Um, Chris Jericho. Jericho, Jericho, you're the list. Did he make the list? He... Not make the list. Oh, big show. Paul Wright doesn't yeah. big name in AW now. He is ooh fortieth above Batista. Okay, okay, good. Um, I got him. Um, Kane. He is forty third. Okay. Um, Randy Savage, the Macho Man. He's 14th over Cena, Ric Flair. CM Punk. I don't know if CM Punk will be. Because just how. Nope, he's not on it. He's not? Mm -hmm. Okay, um. Ultimate Warrior. Um. 
<laughs> tell me. Nope, not on it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did I say Razor Ramon yet? Nope. Okay, Razor Ramon. And if that doesn't work, just try Scott Hall. That did not work. That did not work, so nope. Diesel? Or Kevin Nash? Nope. Oh my gosh, I'm starting to struggle. Bret Hart. Yep, fourth. Okay, okay. I'm just, Booker T. Oh, I know I'm missing. Nope. I, Brock Lesnar. That's who I was missing. Brock Lesnar's not on it? I have to be misselling something. There's no way he's... <laughs> it's L-E-S-N-A-R. Wait, what is it? L-E-S-N-A-R. That's what I had. <laughs> Brock Lesnar's not in it. Oh my gosh, no way. Okay, you just gotta try it. Chris Benoit. Nope. Okay. Mm. Try Vince McMahon. If Vince McMahon <laughs> is in this. I'm just trying to think of people that have feuded with the people I've said. Nope, Vince McMahon is not in it. Mankind. But or Mick Foley, yeah. Um, yep, he was, how far, did, he was 33rd over Kurt Angle. Um, Jeff Hardy? Yep, he was 45th, so just want to go Matt. Um, yeah, Matt Hardy. Matt did not make it? Yeah, because Jeff Hardy was the hottest thing in 2008. So was the alcohol for him. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mark Henry. I don't think Mark Henry's gonna... <laughs> nope, did not make it. I um, wonder why. Let's see. Um, you are 18 for 50 so far. I'm not, that's okay. Um, I'm trying to think of big stars. <sighs> Just want to go to get to the top 10. Huh? Should we go to get to the top ten? No, we got it. Um, the entire. I'll try to get the entire list. Shoot, what's his name? Um, shoot. Oh, the dude that held the title for like a long time. Bruno. Yeah, Bruno San Martino. I don't know. <laughs> Bruno S A N M A R T I N O. Martin. Yeah. S A N M A. R T I N O. This is not no, but <laughs> it also does not spell names right. So maybe. um, Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt is definitely not gonna. Nope. Um, I'm guessing this is just old wrestlers because yeah, that's where I'm struggling. Yeah. Jake um, the Snake Roberts. Oh, what's set up with Jake the Snake? Mm-hmm. He is 39th over Big Show, Kang, Jeff Hardy, and Batista. Um, yeah, not any new stars, so I'm thinking Attitude Era. Um, Eddie Guerrero. He lies, he cheats, he steals. I swear, if he's not on here. Oh. Eddie G U E R R I O. No, no, I. Oh. G U E R R E R O? Yep. Okay. Where is he? He was. Let me look up. Oh, he is somewhere hidden in this list. He is 11th over Triple H and John Cena. Okay. Ray Mysterio. I'm starting to get in my role. Come on. Booyaka Booyaka 619. Yep, he was ninth. Um, the Miz. That doesn't make me put. Nope, not on it. Oh my goodness. Um. All I can think of is new stars. Um. Shoot, Daniel Bryan. Uh, he's not gonna be on there. Um. 
Nope. Sergeant Slaughter. <laughs> nope. Um, shoot. Um, how many do I have so far? Twenty-one out of fifty. Twenty-one out of fifty. Oh, jeez. Bam, bam, Bigelow. <laughs> Nope. Um, I am missing someone huge. I know it. Let's think maybe there are people from the 40 years of Mania that we're forgetting. Mm. I'm surprised Brock is not a part of it. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking of old timers. Um, try Owen Hart. He might be on there. Nope. Um, I'm just thinking of who Stone Cold feuded with, honestly. So, okay, let's see who you have. Huh? Just more people. I'm trying to think of people from the 40 years of WrestleMania. Try, try Christian. He is not a part of it. Huh? Christian? Nope. Okay, um... Four years. Andre the Giant, obviously. Yep, he is eighth. Um. Oh, okay. Ricky Steamboat. Yep, he is seventh, but Bruno was twenty fourth. We just could not spell that. Oh. Um. How many left do we have in the top ten? We'll just do that. Um. You have two left in the top ten. What numbers? Sixth and tenth. Okay. One is obvious, oh, one is not. Um, I don't even know if you know who that sixth is. Ten is obvious? Kind of. Like, it's a name you'll know. Were they in the 40 showcase? I do not remember. I know they were, had a little, like, they were a part of, not part, but like, were shown during Clash of the Castle. Oh, during the Clash of Castle. Okay, okay. From kind of being fr- from there. Kind of being from there. Wasn't oh, born no. there, but his heritage was there. No, you're... Uh-oh. Wore kilts. Oh, Roddy Rowdy Piper? Yep, that is your tenth. Um, then sixth is... I mean, what? I think I could give you, like, just a bunch of the letters you wouldn't be getting. Just give me what her f- the first name starts with. Harley. Harley Race? Yep. Okay. So let me, I'll go on a list for you. First was Shawn Michaels. Then mm-hmm. it was Undertaker, Stone Cold, Brett the Hitman Hart, The Rock, Harley Race, The Dragon Steamboat, Andre the Giant, Ray, Roddy mm-hmm. Piper, Eddie, Triple H, Gorgeous George, Randy Savage, Kurt Henning. Oh, Mr. Perfect, darn it. John Cena. Oh, it just kicked me out of it. <laughs> Oh, it just fully kicked me out of it. So, that is all you'll get. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I think we're good for time now. Yeah. So, so next time we'll have an interview, our first interview of the podcast. We'll talk about next week's wrestling, which we expect Howdy. We we'll expect Howdy. We could probably more feuds we built with stuff. Yeah, but. I I could see probably um. Drew doing something since he got, um, he got, like... Cheated in since... In his home country. Probably something with Punk. Then we'll have the NBA yeah. Finals will be over, maybe. Um, yeah, and then... Because Mavs are not pulling that off. Yeah, Mavs are not pulling the comeback off. And then, probably... Yeah, that's probably... Just Howdy being the main thing. We'll talk about that, see what yeah. happens with him. And the interview is gonna also be a big thing as well. Yeah. But, that was it for this week's episode. Come in same time next week for mm-hmm. next week's episode. And send in some hot takes if you want, and we'll use them in a future episode. Mm-hmm. And we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye.